all right guys welcome on back to tk's garage and today we're going to be installing those that light trim around my dash and as well around the shifter so um without further ado let's get into it guys this is the area of the dash we're going to be working with i got my lights right here we're going to start getting them up and into the dash once we figure out where everything lines up and where it goes now more than likely i'm not going to be able to see much uh during the day i'm not going to see if they actually light up well we'll have to see it this evening once it's all done but what i'm going to do now is unplug this connector all right and that's the charging cable. We're not worried about that right now. Uh, what we want to do is get this stuff removed here. So I can unfurl this. All right. Because what I want is... Oh, look at this. It's like split. This is my second replacement from Amazon for this. And that's just not good quality stuff right there, man. Uh, well... We'll see what happens with it. I have a feeling that I gotta, I'm going to be snipping this anyway. But let's go ahead and get this right. Now, where we're going to be plugging into the uh, cigarette lighter, which is literally right here off camera, we're going to try to line this up so that this itself will be like right here, as y'all can see. That way I can make that kind of not be as uh, out there. So let's go ahead and try to start snapping this in and we'll see how it goes. I apologize if I block y'all out on the camera. I'm not trying to do it. I'll do my best to try to keep this open for y'all so y'all can see as I go. Once I get it started, I should be out. All right. Boy, TikTok has been blowing up. If you don't follow me on TikTok yet, man, I don't know, I don't know what to tell y'all, but... We just passed 69,000 followers on TikTok. It's been booming, man. It has been absolutely booming over there. So make sure y'all definitely go follow me. If you don't have TikTok yet, you'd be surprised, man. You know, it's kind of, it might be a new generation's YouTube. You know, YouTube's been around for going on, what, 15 years, man? They've been around for a while. And people have been making that money on YouTube for a little bit, too. So, you know. The younger generation had to do their own thing. You know, that's always how it goes, man. That's always how it goes. Where's the damn quarter? Because that's how we're going to get this right. You just get in here a little bit to get you a little bit of starting area, right? And then boom, look at that. Now, because I had that one little spot there tightened up, now I'm good. I'm in here like swimwear. And I can go, by having that tubing in there, now if I just go a little bit all the way up, and let me show you what it looks like up close. As I go a little bit all the way up, you'll see now, it goes all the way in and it's flush. And that's what we want, because we don't want our stuff to be looking all trash. Now, I know there's a way, and someone's gonna say, well, TK, you can take this out and run this down through the glove box where you're not gonna see that wire. Bro, it's not all, it ain't that serious to me, man. This ain't a show car. I'm just doing this for me because I want to be able to see the lights at nighttime and be able to do my thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about all that. And you can see I'm just using my thumbnail, all right? Someone's going to call it the Coke nail, whatever y'all want to call it. And look, I'm just pushing that in and it's going to go all the way in and we're going to go all the way around. So now that you see how the process works, it's really pretty simple. So I'm going to knock this out and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so now you guys can see it. It comes to an end right here, so it's like just this little bit short. So what I might do is tuck the wire here and then use everything to connect from down there. But overall, it all fits in. It all looks good. Um, no issues. You can see I got it all nice and tight all along the uh, gaps in here. And it's all nice and tucked in, all right? Now what I like to do, what I would do is I would just take a quarter and do this, 
the flat inside of the quarter like this not the not the side but like this and just push in all the way around and make sure it's all flush and then you should be good now up here towards the towards your instrument cluster you have a little bit more room hold on you have a little bit more room in this section right here so you got to kind of finagle this to get this where you want and it's not going to be loose but you gotta if you push too far it's going to drop down behind there um it just is what it is and then same thing over here we're just gonna and don't worry it's not like you're gonna break the light when you do this and you're just gonna push on this all the way around you'll you'll hear it too it'll it'll pop in a little bit more in some places as you go you see what i'm saying see this down here where it's getting more flush and that's what you want because it's not going to be it's not like it's a bright light guys it's it's not it's not like if i plug it in right now you wouldn't even be able to see it you see how it's more but you see how it's more flush now even has a little bit of a darker as and it's more stuck out here so you just got to mess with it for a little bit until you get it in you know fellas this is nothing new fellas most of y'all that are on here if you're of age you know about getting stuff into tight places man at least i hope you do anyways let me go tighten this up and we'll be back all right guys the next part of the install is basically just the power stuff plugging this stuff in right so we're literally going to take this like so and plug it in and that's it it's now in it's got power now you probably can see it if I get directly on it, I can see that it's lit up now um, here in the shade, but it's so dim, like you don't see it during the daytime, but let me get the camera right up on it. Hold on one second. All right, you guys see that? Now watch this as I unplug it. All right, you see that? See how it's turning on, off and on? So now it's working fully installed and you can see even during the daytime it gives a nice little hint a nice little green accent all the way around the dash i like this now i got another one and i'm gonna do this entire section right here we're gonna put them both over here so we can tie them all in together and have them plugged into that one charger pretty simple <clears throat> all right guys and it's the same process up here you can kind of see what we're gonna be doing with the wires right we're gonna be up here um, and this I can probably just tuck I'm guessing I might need to come up a little bit more with it but I'm definitely gonna have wire left over or I'm gonna have light left over so you know I can get this in here and then put all this together it'd be good cable management like I said there's ways to do it where you can hide it I don't really care and if I want to take them out it, my removal process will be all of what two minutes <laughs> you know what I'm saying nice and easy man but i think at nighttime when this is done the lights in here this thing is gonna look sick as fuck look at that man all that's going in nice and easy All right, I'm gonna tighten this up, and then when I get done, same as before, we'll take a look at it and see where it's at. All right, guys, and as you guys can see here, with a little help of my friend, the quarter, we got all of this stuff down. Now, you're gonna work at this as the gap, as it starts to like, fellas, you know how it works, man. When you're, when you're starting to slide it in a little bit here on the, in the crack, you know, sometimes it'll loosen up a little bit as you get into it, I already know the comments is going to be like, damn, I already know y'all motherfuckers is going to be in the comments talking a bunch of crazy shit, but y'all can see it right here, right? And then you just kind of, you just got to keep finessing it. Oh, I can't see it up there, you know? And fellas, y'all should be pros with the thumb, man. I mean, if you, if you are an adult at this stage in your life, if you don't know how to use this, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you, you know, just right here. Just a little thumb action. Just a little thumb action, man. Just slide it down the crack. You know what I'm saying? 
I already know y'all gonna be y'all gonna be dying. Either y'all are dying right now in the chat because y'all's minds is in the gutter. But for, but fellas, for real though, you don't know how to use the thumb, man. Come on now. All right, so we in there and we got a little left over. You know, sling sling ling ling ling. I'll cut that off, like up here. I'll have a little bit left and then I'll get it all tightened up. And then I'll try to do some good cable management and try to hide that stuff. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, guys. Now I got to get to the LEDs and install them under my hood. And I think that's going to be a separate video. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, if it helped you. And if I got time, I'll put a link in the description of where I got these on Amazon. First one I got sucked. It didn't work. But the last two I got have been good. So, all right. See y'all on the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.